I have been in healthcare and nursing since 1984. Um, which makes me quite old, and um, have experienced th a lot of different levels of nursing, a lot of different clinical environments. I started off in theatres many years ago as a theatre nurse and went, went into intensive care, I was an intensive care nurse for a few years and then went into um, advanced practice for general surgery um, and did my independent prescribing and I became an advanced nurse practitioner. Um, following that, I started to move up through the sort of operational management roles, becoming a ward sister, and ultimately becoming a head of nursing for practice and um, professional development, which followed being head of nursing for surgery and surgical specialties at a district general hospital. Whilst head of nursing for practice and professional development, I was asked to investigate the um, tragic death of a teenager following a laparoscopic appendicectomy. And um, unfortunately, post-operatively, she had bled, but nobody had noticed. Um, I had to interview a range of clinicians, but ultimately the report findings um, found that it was impossible to pin down who had said what to who, who had known what when, the care that had been given, why observations hadn't been done on time. Um, there was lots of... Um, recommendations to come out um, and come out of the coroner, the inquest as well. It's, um, it was at that point that I started to look at digital solutions because the inability from paper to investigate something like that and actually pin down what had happened was, was so frustrating because we wanted to give answers to the family. We needed them to have some sort of closure that, you know, and that their daughter's death hadn't been in vain and that we would learn from that. So I started to look at digital solutions and um, looking around for digital nursing roles at that point, which was maybe eight, nine years ago, there was very few, certainly not in the area of the country that I lived and not at a senior level. There was the odd CNIO, it was, but it was a new role. It, it, there was kind of nowhere to go within the NHS for me at that point. So I moved to work in System C, so moving across to industry seven years ago. What that has allowed me to do is influence the way digital functionality and clinical functionality is designed for use in, um, on the front line, you know, using my 30 odd years of experience to do that. Supporting organisations across the country to use, to roll out, plan for, govern and use digital functionality to support patient care.